It's always hard to go from a, a waiting stand situation or a standby situation into a, a lot of action for a long period of time. Uh, everybody is uh, excited and wants to do that. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we have a windy situation tonight and it's not uh, straightforward, not obvious. So uh, we're trying to make it fast but safe. I guess that's the right moment now to uh, go over the ocean. So we are all well prepared. Uh, the airplane is uh, is uh, in great great shape. So I hope it will demonstrate what we want to demonstrate that we can fly with no uh, limits with this kind of technology. So crossing our fingers before crossing the Pacific. We made a lot of emotional speeches for the first two attempts to go to Hawaii. Now we make it a little bit more sober. And uh, <laughs> the circumstances just push us to say that we all support you, Audrey, from all our heart. We wish you all the best and absolutely great flight. And the, it, well, although I tried to make it sober, I'm really moved. You cannot imagine. And uh, Prince Albert is next to me and he will give the official go. And uh, then the adventure will start, my friend. Okay, uh, Andre. It's, this is Prince Albert. It's a great pleasure to be back in the MCC and to uh, wish you all, all the best for this fantastic uh, crossing of, of the Pacific. So uh, you are clear to proceed with the takeoff procedures. Thank you very much, uh, Prince Albert. It's a very special moment. I really hope we can together in five years on the, on the other side, so looking forward and thank you for everything. We decided we go in the air until the point of non-return and then we see if we continue to Hawaii with the latest weather and a complete check of the plane. And these 10 hours have been terrible because we had two systems that did not work properly and we had to solve it. And the team was there behind every detail to, to make it work. Yes, that's, that's something which can be handled. But we need to have the support of everybody. And uh, if the engineer says we don't want to support this, we will not be able to do the flight. If the mission control center says we don't want to support this flight, we cannot do this flight. I think we need, we need, we need one team. As an engineer, and uh, it's my role, uh, would say we have to go back as we have the choice. If we would not have a choice, we would continue anyway and we would also have to deal with this problem. My biggest wish is also that we continue if we continue as a team. 
that's all. If the management or the project decides to do so, I will stay in the boat and will do everything I can. I will stay on board and uh, stay with it. I just want to make one point very clear. There's only so much we can do to support you from here, from the ground. So when you decide to go on, you will be on your own up there. And you have to take that into account when you decide. Okay. Let's go. Let's go for it. And uh, thank you for for helping me. Thank you for helping us. Uh, I'm, I'm, I very strongly believe it's not it's not a gamble. Uh, something which can really be done without pushing too far. And just before the point of non-return, that means yeah, it's one hour and five minutes ago we could take the decision to carry on. It has been, yeah, it has been really a difficult moment. Do we go? We don't go. But the weather is good. The plane flies well. André is fine. The team is supporting the decision to go. And it's, it's worth trying. J'ai pensé que le jour serait comme ça. Euh, après le décollage, je mets le, le, l'autopilote en marche. C'est vrai que j'ai les premières alarmes. Euh, les ingénieurs ont commencé à nous décourager complètement de partir. Et c'était assez dur, assez dur de, de, de décider. C'est pas facile d'aller contre la vie de, de, de tout le monde. Et puis surtout pour des choses qui sont si longues, si imprévisibles, ça, ça dans les tripes, hein, ça te prend, euh, ça m'a pris au fond de moi, euh, vraiment dans l'estomac, et puis euh, pas vraiment savoir si c'était la bonne décision, bon techniquement je pense que c'est bon, mais euh, vis-à-vis de la famille, vis-à-vis de, de, vis-à-vis de, de, de Yasmin, c'est vrai que, waouh, pas facile, hein, euh, pas facile, mais je pense que ça ira. Donc j'ai, j'ai, j'ai un bon moral, même si je me sens euh, un petit peu retourné. Euh, et puis, euh, euh, je pense que je ne jamais ce moment. I'm currently eating my, uh, my, my breakfast. And, uh, People have to realize that in this cockpit, temperature varies from minus 20 to plus 30, 35. So food is extremely difficult to keep because there is no fridge, there is nothing. So uh, we worked together with the Nestle Research, Nestle Nutrition, to package it, how to, uh, how to make it good, healthy, but at the same time surviving this harsh environment. fragile solar powered plane and he's only about a thousand kilometers away from his destination. Andre, if I can ask you uh, how you're feeling after all that time you broke a world record in terms of solo flight a few hours ago, uh, how are you holding up? Well, first of all, it's uh, absolutely magnificent to be up here and uh, to have you know, the opportunity to fly in the Uh, to our speed 30. 
And the latest wind is headwind 0404 knots. Have secured. We have a fantastic airplane. I mean, uh, the, this airplane is, uh, is truly exceptional. I don't say that because we did it. No, I say that because there is an engineering team who did it, and they did a great, I mean, an incredible job. I think for everybody, I mean, it's, it's just, in, I think we cannot uh, estimate and believe what we did. I, I don't know how many records we were setting in this flight, and anyway, it's the most difficult flight of the whole journey around the world that we succeeded.